Hi, in this video we're going to look at how we create a new estimate, um, how we can save our estimates and how we can open existing estimates. So first we'll have a look at creating new estimates. So when you first come to the home screen of the software and you go to the new section, you've got a few options uh, for new scaffold estimates. So you can have a new enterprise project or a new project. Both of these will create a blank estimate. The difference is a new enterprise project will shave, save in your shared projects list. Um, whereas a new project will save as a standalone file on your computer similar to an Excel document or a Word document. Um, you also have a revision. This is a, a copy of an existing estimate so you will require the, the estimate you wish to copy to be saved in your projects list um, and to create a revision you choose the job you want to create the revision of and it will create a copy with an amended contract number um, but all of the details in the estimate will be the same so you can then amend them and send out an amended version of the quotation. Um, if you want to produce a quotation for a project that's already underway and it's some additional work we've got the variation function that will copy um, an existing estimate again it will retain the customer information, the site information, um, the contract number um, but it will create a blank quote so if you've done a 10 item quotation for example and sent that out to the customer and won the work when you come to create a variation from it, it will start on item 10 and blank, so you can quote for additional scaffolding work on the same contract. So let's go ahead <coughs> and do a, a new enterprise project. First screen we'll see is our job creation screen, so there's a few things to talk through here. So you've got your quote number, which will be automatically generated based on your quotation number preferences, which uh, can be amended in the settings. Um, however, you can edit it here on a job by job basis just by hitting the green pencil and then we'll see the quote number that's going to be used and we can type over the top of that we can also add a suffix as well uh, or a prefix um, you've got an option to set a follow-up date so um, you can set a date and I'm going to set today's date just so that we can see where that appears on the screen um, this will basically mean that when you open the software on the date that you've set, you'll get a little reminder on the home screen to tell you that you've, um, you've got to follow up that quote and chase it up with the customer. You can select a pricing rate here um, and you can add a description. This is a sort of, sort of summary of the job. Um, so when you're viewing them in the project list, you can kind of see a quick glance what the project's about. Um, so that might be access scaffolding for roofing repairs okay um, we've got the creation date which is obviously today and also you can set a start date so that's going to be in the future when you anticipate that project's going to start if you know it and if not you can leave it as it is um, and then you've got to, the option to add your customer and your site address so your customer and site address if they're a new customer new site you can go ahead and fill in the boxes um, as appropriate um, if it's a new address for a customer that you've already worked with. You can also set up um, groups and when you select a group it will give you the option to cycle through the addresses for that group. Okay so as you're adding your addresses if you group them going forward when you come to do new projects it's easier to find those addresses quite quickly. Okay um, if you want to search your address book or your site address book you can click this green button and that will take us through to the address book and we can find our address, select it and bring it through. Once you've done your customer and your site address you can go ahead and click create project. Um, it, for new enterprise projects that will create the record in the server um, and for new projects that will just open the blank projects. So now we can go on and move to the next step of setting up our quotation items. Uh, there's a link below in this section to the, the section that covers that step. It's important when you're working on your estimates to remember to save regularly. Um, so you've got your save on con up here and you can just click on that and that will save a copy of the job. If you're working on an enterprise project it will just update the record in the server. If you're working on a new project that's a standalone, um, the first time you save it it will ask you where you want to save it and then moving onwards it will just update that file. Um, if you're working on an enterprise project and you want to save it locally to maybe share with someone, you can go to File, Save As, and then you've got a choice to save the project, which will save it locally on your computer. And this will allow you to choose somewhere to save it and click Save. 
um, or you can hit save to enterprise to add it to the server if it's a standalone project that you want to bring into your server. Lastly we're going to look at opening projects so if we go to open on that home screen we've got three choices we can open from the enterprise server we can open a standalone file or we can open an autosave file. So opening from the standalone server is really straightforward. Go into your projects list, choose the project that you want to open, click open, and that project will be open for you. There we go. Alternatively, if we want to, we can go to open, open a project, and then we can browse for the project we wish to open. Or we can open an autosave file. Smart Estimator will run the autosave by default every half an hour while you've got the project open and it will save a temporary copy of the project outside of your server and outside of your local save. Um, so if you have any problems, laptop runs out of battery um, or there's an issue and you lose some work, you can click open autosave, you can find your recent save for that project and click open and it will reopen the saved copy which you can then edit, save back into your server are going file save as save to enterprise server or overwrite your your previous project the auto save settings are available in the settings menu you can choose where they save how often they save and how many copies it saves per project thanks for watching i hope this answers a few questions on getting started um, if you move on to the next section setting up your quotation items we can carry on learning about how to use smart estimator